In this video, we'll take a look at how to work with Toast within Flutter. We'll be building an application that when the user clicks the normal Toast button, will display a Toast to the user. That's the bare bones one that comes out of the box when you work with Flutter. And then after that, we're also going to be taking a look at how to show a stylized version of this Toast that includes some beautiful animation and design. So with that said, let's get into the video. As a side note, links to all of the resources that I mentioned within this video, as well as a link to the source code can be found in the description below. So feel free to take a look at it at any point. And as always, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every time I release a new video. To use the normal out of the box toast, we're not going to be using any dependencies for that. But if you want to show the animated and a much nicer version of the toast, then we're going to be using this cool package that's called Delightful Toast. So let's copy this, let's come back to our actual application, and then let's come to the pubspec.yaml file and define this actual dependency, like so, under the dependency section, and make sure that Flutter pub get is ran. Once this is done, I'm going to give my application a test run to just make sure that everything's working as intended. And once the application is actually running on the simulator, then I will resume the video. Welcome back, everybody. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing now that the actual application is running on the simulator is coming to my home page and then adding the actual UI elements so that we have two buttons present that we can click on to actually show the toasts. So to do that, I'm going to be doing the following. Firstly, to my scaffold, I'm going to set the body property and set that to a call to a function called build UI. And then once this is done, then I'm going to go ahead and define my actual build UI function like so. Then within this function, I am going to be returning a sized box and this sized box is going to have a specific width. So let me quickly do that. And then after this, we are going to set the child for the sized box, which is going to be a column. And it's going to have a children's list, which for now is going to be empty. And with that, we can do command save and move on to the next part. So for the next part, I'm actually going to be now creating the actual buttons. So for that, it's going to be very simple. I'll firstly create an elevated button widget and for the on pressed callback function we'll set that to be empty and once that is done i'm going to set the style and the child for this to be the following for the first button there we go so now it shows us normal toast and then i'll copy this elevated button and i'll paste it once more and everything will remain the same the only thing that we're going to change is going to be the stylized toast text that's here so with this done, we can now see the two buttons and I'll just like to move them down. So for that, I am going to come to my column and set the main and cross axis alignment on it. And there we go, our UI looks great. So let's firstly take a look at how to show a normal toast and then we'll take a look at the stylized toasts. To, to show a normal toast, it's basically very simple in Flutter. All we have to do is basically call the following function and it's from the actual scaffold messenger object and we do scaffold messenger dot off and then we pass it the context which is the build contents and then we do dot and then we do show snack bar then what we can do is actually pass in a snack bar here this needs to be actually a snack bar widget so let's add that and then the content here can be any widget what i am going to do is say that it's going to be a text and the actual content is going to be as follows which is that this is an actual normal toast there we go so with this done let's just add the remaining semicolon let's add the commas as intended to command save and then now if i click on this you can see that the toast is shown you can change some properties of this toast on the actual snack bar widget such as what the background color is how much elevation it has the shape and things like that but let's just say that what i'd like to do is make sure that there is a set duration for how long this is displayed to do that i can do duration property on the snack bar and then i can either set a duration or i can use the already defined durations so i'll do for example extra long four and now if we show our toast you can see it is shown for this amount of time if i do to a, like a very short amount like just let's do three and do there we go it's very short and fast so that's how you work with the actual normal show snack bar function to show a toast now what we can do is actually move on to the next part and for the next part we'll be taking a look at how to use the dependency that we had imported in the previous step which is delightful toast and show these amazing animated toasts so to do that, you can come to the next button and here we're going to be doing the following. The first thing that we're going to be doing is actually creating our delightful toast bar. And this is going to come from the actual package. And then here we need to define the builder function, which takes in the actual build context. And then it defines how the actual 
bar is going to be built. And then besides that, we can also define the position and things like that. But let's firstly do this. So for the builder here, what I'm going to be doing is returning the following. And what am I going to return? Well, I'm going to return a widget that is called toast card. And this comes from the actual delightful toast package as well. The title here can be whatever you'd like. So what I'm going to be doing is saying that this is going to be a text widget. And the text widget is going to have the following text within it, like so. And let's do command save. So now with this done, let me just quickly change the styling for the actual text widget. And then with this, I'll also mark this text widget as a const. So now that we have defined the actual builder function, what we can do is to actually show the delightful toast bar. We can go to the object and then do dot show. And that's all we have to do and make sure that you give it the context. And with this done, if I click on the stylized toast button, there we go, the toast is being shown. So what I'd like to do now is just change a little bit of the attributes on this. So let's do that. So the first thing that I'd like to do is change the position for this. So to change the position, what you can do is that you can come to your delightful toast bar. And after I've defined the actual builder function, I'll define the position and the position is going to be our delightful snack bar position dot top or bottom. Let's do top and let's test it out once more to dismiss these toasts that don't automatically dismiss. So you can drag them left or right and then that'll dismiss it. But now if I click on stylized toast, you can see that the toasts are being shown one after another. And since we're using this package, it has this beautiful stacking animation already built out of the box. And then I can swipe on these and I can dismiss them. Now what I'd like to do is implement the functionality of auto dismissing them. So for that, I can set the auto dismiss property to true. And now when we show a toast, it's going to show it to us for some time. And after some time, it's going to automatically dismiss it for us. If you want to change the duration for this, and if I set the duration to be durations dot and then do, let's just say extra long four, let's do save. And then let's click on the button. You're going to see that the toast is shown to us and then it's dismissed once the snack bar duration has passed. The last thing that I'd like to do is actually show an icon on this actual toast card. So for that, we can come to our toast bar and then we can set the leading property on this. The leading property is going to be an icon. And then I'm going to say that it's going to be icons dot notification. You can use whatever actual icon that you'd like to use. And then after this, I'm going to do one last thing, which is to set the phone size. And the phone size is going to be, let's just say 32. So there we go. Let's do save. And then what I'll do is actually mark the toast card as a const. And then let's click on stylized toast. And there we go. Now we're seeing this beautiful toast that auto dismisses. And we have this beautiful stacking option built in. And we can show as many toasts as we'd like. And it looks graceful. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I hope that you learned a thing or two about how to work with the snack bar slash toast mechanism within Flutter. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every time I release a new video and stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.